in this video I'm going to be talking about uh, the iMessage versus regular text messages and how you can switch between them and how you can use them in the most productive or in the best way. You most likely know that the green bubbles in the messages are the regular text messages, the SMS that you usually pay for, and the blue ones are the iMessage, and those are free, you don't have to pay for them the same rates as you pay for the regular text messages, and you need an internet connection for that. You also know that iMessage can be only used between Apple devices, whether it is iPhones or anything else like iPads or MacBooks. And it doesn't matter if you use Wi-Fi or a cellular connection to send the messages. As long as you have internet, it's okay. But how do you actually switch between them? Because as you can see in the chat that I have with myself uh, right here, you can see that all of the bubbles are blue. That means that it is the iMessage. And I cannot simply go ahead and decide that now I want to send the green bubble. Well, it's kind of a bit more complicated than that because uh, the logic behind Apple thinking is that uh, if you send the blue bubble, the iMessage, and it gets delivered, you don't get the option to click and choose to send the regular text message. Whereas if it doesn't, you get the option. So let me show you what I mean. If I send a message and I hold down to it immediately before it gets delivered, in this case to myself, then I get to see the option to send as a text message. And if I click on it, the uh, bubble is going to become green and I pay for the text message. And it's going to be delivered to the other person no matter of their internet connection. But you don't get to choose that all the time. But before we continue with the video, I want to say that if you're new on this channel, I make videos like these all the time because I try to explain some behind the scenes or some more unknown stuff about Apple iPhones and stuff like that. So definitely go ahead and subscribe so you won't regret it and won't miss future uploads. And also leave a thumbs up if you like it, like uh, obviously, but let's continue now. So in any case, if you if you just use iMessage and for some reason the other person doesn't have internet connection, so you don't see that the message has been delivered. You just cannot see that. And uh, in that case, uh, the person, the other person doesn't get your uh, notification or doesn't get your text message. So in this case, if you hold down on that bubble, you'll get the option to go ahead and send as a text message because you obviously cannot reach that person. But in case you do and the other person has the message delivered, it just won't give you the option for some reason. Like, of course, it makes sense because you already reached them. Like, uh, the message is on their phone, so you don't get to choose and uh, you don't get to send a regular text message. The same thing applies to the previously sent and read messages, because if you scroll up a bit, uh, all of the things that I already did send, like it has been delivered, it has been read, like the other person viewed it, so there's no point in sending it once again as a text message. The option is simply not there. But the real problem is that every time you decide to go ahead and send a text message, the other stuff is also going to be a text message. So it's going to be green bubble as well. Um, and there is not really a way to send it as a, you know, like an iMessage in this case. Holding down on the green bubble doesn't do anything and it doesn't give you the option to now send it as uh, the uh, iMessage, so as a blue bubble. But it may also happen that after you decide to go ahead and send the green text message, the, every other text message that you're about to send is also become a green and you would like to switch back to iMessage. And this is the problem that a lot of people get. And it's not like you don't really have a switch for that. But for this, you simply have to go to the settings, like to the most basic stuff and go to the uh, messages section. And the first option is iMessage, turn it off, turn it back on, and it should be good to go. Like there isn't much else what uh, there is to know about it. Like I don't expect anyone to, to find a different solution because there isn't any. And also some people say that you can restart the entire iPhone, but I find uh, this method a lot easier, even though it could have been, I mean, it could have been even more easy because uh, uh, what if there was like a button to decide if you want to send the blue or green bubble? I mean, that would just be great. But for some reason, Apple tries to make, uh, tries to simplify things even more, even beyond the need for the simplification. So uh, this is how it is right now. But hopefully this video helped you. I don't think that there is anything else what I could explain or say more about it because it's as deep as it gets. I mean, there is not much going on right now. Like, of course, with the text message, you don't get to see the 
the read receipts, the delivered status, you don't get to get any effects. Like, of course, it's not iMessage. And iMessage, you can think of it as the Facebook Messenger or any other online messaging platform, but put and built into the messages uh, with uh, other chats that only have SMS text message. So yeah, that's, that's the point behind iMessage. But anyways, that's the end of the video. I want to say that if you enjoyed it, leave a thumbs up. I'm going to appreciate it. Uh, if there is anything else that you would like to say, the comment section is the way to do so. So thanks a lot for watching. See you guys later.